<laughs> oh, I love all these party members. They're so good. A handsome, well-dressed young man of about 17 years old looks at you with a polite smile. So you're the famous slayer of the Stag Lord's gang, soon to be a baron. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is... Lander. That is such a weird name. Just Lander? No last name? No title? Well, let's just say I'm here incognito. Under my circumstances, it's wise to keep one's lineage to oneself. Truth be told, that's precisely why, what I wanted to speak with you about. You see, I'm an heir to one of the to one of Bravois' noble houses. I won't say which, but believe me, a newly appointed baron with no connections would do well to have a friend like me. I travel the country in secret, without servants, so I can see it for myself, not from a carriage window, but face to face with the people. My family would never approve, of course, but then I never asked. I need to know Bravoy if I'm going to rule a part of it someday. Oh well, yeah, you're not wrong. I know Jamonti wants to impose her stepson on you as an emissary of Bravoy. Refuse. Take me instead. Don't look at my age. While they may have trained this half-orc to swing a sword, I've been training to rule since I was a child. I'll be of far greater use to you, both now and in the future. After I have a firm position in my family. Are you from Rostovic nobility? Oh no, I'm not from here. I'm just visiting, you could say. I wanted to see for myself the heroes who managed to conquer the frontier lands, and the Lord Mayor was kind enough to invite me to this wonderful party! What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, you're just... ...saying that. Yeah, I'll consider your proposal. Ezvanki Keeg? A handsome man with a weather-beaten face grasps your hand tightly in his rough, calloused palms. Unlike the rest of the guests in their festive clothes, he wears a simple robe. The only luxury you see on him is a holy symbol of Aristil, made of solid gold. The other guests look at him with respect, some bordering on awe. Congratulations on your victory, he says in a deep voice. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ezvanki Keeg, High Priest of Erastil and Restob. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, sure. Bringing law into the Stolen Lands is a difficult endeavor. I would be grateful for any help you could spare. Why not? Aw. Uh, our most pious aspirations are often hindered. But it is not the case of that overcoming such obstacles allows us to be- Is it not the case that overcoming blah 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 become closer to our god? I give you my blessing and I believe you will become- You will be able to overcome these hardships and achieve your goals. Yes. Do many people here venerate Erastil? They revere many gods in Restov. They pray to Avadar, patron of cities, and Phrasma, gatherer of souls. There are also some more rare cults, but there's no denying that the Stag God has the largest congregation here. And no wonder! People here have lived off farming and hunting for centuries. Huh. Yes, you are dressed surprisingly simply for such a festive occasion. The corner of the priest's mouth turn up in a faint smile. The nobles dress in silks and satins to stand out from the poor! A priest wears a simple robe to stand out from the nobles. Well... I can't argue with that. Ah. Uh -huh. Hannes Drillev. This man's gorgeous clothes hides rippling muscles beneath them. He looks past your ear, obviously bored. What? Okay then. Baron Hannes Drillev, he says offhandedly, emphasizing the word Baron. And you must be the Stag Lord Butcher. I'm sorry, I quite forgot your name. But you, you but you took out the Stag Lord and his gang, and so Sword Lord Jamondi is granting you permission to take his place, right? Well, congratulations. My lands lie to the west of yours. I suppose we're neighbors now. Yes, I defeated the Stag Lord. Pray tell, what did you do to deserve your new dominion? A smirk appears on the Baron's face. I don't need to deserve or prove anything. Countless generations of my glorious ancestors have done so for me. If I had a slightly bigger army, 
Sword Lord Jamandi would have simply given all of the stolen lands to me. Alas, I don't have so many dis soldiers at my disposal, so she had to urgently make barons heh, of the likes of you and Vaughn. So you have no army and no special merits. You were just given land for being pretty. Under other circumstances, I'd have whipped you for such words. But let's not ruin Lady Eldori's celebration, hmm? If you want so badly to measure merits, we can do so another time. You're not very polite for a nobleman. Ha! Politeness must be deserved. You're a cunt, and I can't wait to probably kill you in the future. Wow. Not even deigning to reply, Baron Drelev turns around and looks away. What a fucking cunt. Natalia Sertova. Natalia S Natala Sertova, not Natalia, is discussing some something with an unfamiliar old lady in a low voice. Upon noticing you, she breaks into a sugary sweet smile. I can't do a woman's voice. You are not only tough, but quick. Well, congratulations on your victory. Enjoy it while you can. Is that a threat? I would never. I simply wish to warn you, in case you don't fully realize the fate that awaits you and your barony. What do you think awaits me? Nothing good, I fear. The Aldori, our dearest friends, didn't deem it necessary to inform you of their plans, I assume. You see, they're preparing to separate from Bravoy. It will not be a peaceful process. They lack the strength currently, hence using this legal loophole to create some independent allies. Once the civil war breaks out, your lands will be the first to endure a strike from Bravoy's forces. Perhaps they'll erect a memorial stone in Independent Restov to honor you. Well, I wouldn't count on even that, really. Uh, what would you propose? In your situation, the most reasonable course of action would be to align yourself with the lawful rulers of Bravoy, the noble houses. The Aldori won't dare to rebel, knowing they will immediately become entrapped. You could help Bravoy avoid a civil war while simultaneously enjoying some well-deserved de peace in your lands. I believe Jamandi has already attempted to impose a guard on you as an emissary. I'm guessing her lowborn stepson, the green-skinned boy, Kassil. It's up to you, of course, but I would recommend you a different envoy. Please meet Chandra Merve, an, in, in, an experienced diplomat who's more familiar with Bravoy's politics than any brawler could be. The old woman standing next to Natala gives you a slight bow. I would be happy to help you establish diplomatic relations with Bravoy. I'll consider your proposal. No Honestly, I'm probably just gonna separate from... from Bravoy. I don't care if it's gonna be a pain in the dickhole. I just... I don't like the idea of being ruled from afar by someone else. <laughs>